Welcome to another conversation of how to play offense during this pandemic, during the stay at home order, during this quarantine. A lot of people making some tough decisions. Uh, uh, and Christian, you know, uh, what sparked my desire to reach out to you today is in the last three days, I've had about five different people from the property and casualty industry, because, you know, we're cousins, you know, life insurance industry and right. cousins. They've, they've reached out to me and says, how, you know, how is the life insurance side? You know, because they're, they're trying to sell life insurance as like an add-on to their car insurance policies, for like for a multi-policy discount, you know? And right now, a lot of the dealerships aren't selling cars. A lot of the realtors, especially in Chicago, I'm not sure how it is in, in Cali, but in Chicago, the high peak time for selling real estate for realtors is spring and summer. And that's not happening right now. And so they're expecting to get some business from the real estate community, but not, they're not getting these, uh, they're not getting that business. So, nope. um, Christian Oriana is with us from Orange County, California, Califas. Califas. <laughs> so, uh, Christian, man, as, as we get started, bro, tell, every, tell everybody a little bit about your background, man, and, uh, and uh, uh, how you got involved initially, not before life insurance, what your background was in property and casualty. Hey, Matt, thank you for having me here today. I'm very happy to be here and spend time with you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, I was in the auto insurance uh, business for 11 years. Uh, me and my wife, we grew a business. We started with one and we started with two offices at the beginning. And then from two offices, we grew our business to eight locations. Uh, we have four locations in Orange County and we have four locations in LA. And uh, the business was going great. We were doing auto insurance. Then we started doing taxes as well, helping people with their returns and stuff like that to create retention. Something that you were mentioning right now, a lot of insurance companies or a lot of uh, PNC offices are trying to implement different services like DMV services, life insurance, so they can have more retention. So they, have, they need to have more, um, more products to offer their customers so they can retain their customers. Right. Because auto insurance, like you said right now, nobody's buying cars. Nobody's buying uh, auto insurance. And thank God, I just saw my business last October because I saw a change. I went and did my homework and I started looking at uh, some friends that were doing a lot of PNC through, through, the, through the internet. Yep. So I saw it coming. I saw it coming, to be honest with you. Yep. So, you know, we, we talk about three different types of people in this market right now, right? Yep. So there's three different types of people. Number, number one, a lot of people that had some previous pain, like for example, the Great Recession, 08, right. 09, they remember that pain. They personally went through something and they said, you know what, I'm never going to experience something like this ever again. And I'm going to pivot, I'm going to adjust. Uh, and in the future, I'm no longer gonna be a reactor. I'm gonna be prepared for this. They anticipated it, they made money, they stacked cash and they're ready for a moment like this. Exactly. The second type of person is more like you, like. They, they, instead of trying to be smart, which is learning from their own mistakes, they learn from the mistakes of other people, and that was wisdom. That's you. You made a shift early on in this year, and of course, you came out here to Chicago with uh, Jose Gaetan to experience uh, the Chicago weather. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but it really was Chicago weather. We had kind of a warm winter this year. It wasn't, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't that bad. It was good. And then the third type of person that goes through a session is completely deer in the headlights. They're stuck. They're saying it's going to play out. It's going to get back to normal. It's going to, you know, something's got to happen and I'm just going to wait it out. Right. Which is 85, 90% of people. And, and, and I'm surprised, Matt, to be honest with you with this millennials, uh, people right now, or, uh, or the guys out there, they're kind of stuck at number three. They're just looking to see what's going to happen. And I'm very surprised that I see that happening more and more right now, people that I'm reaching now, people that I used to reach out when I when I started with PHP, and they're still just behind the door watching you fail, even though you're already proving yourself that you're already thinking you're ahead, they're still watching behind the door. So, so let's, let's go behind that psychology. Why, why do you think a lot of people do that? Why do you think a lot of people are kind of like, but let me wait, let me not make a decision. It looks like the right decision, but let me not make it. What's the psychology there? What do you think from a just scared of losing? I just think I just think that people just scared of losing without even trying because they're not used to work hard. 
Mm. <laughs> because there's one thing that even selling oranges in the corner, if you need to feed your family, you're going to go to that corner every day. Here in California, I don't know if Chicago happens, but we see people outside the freeways. When you get out of the freeways, you see a lot of people selling oranges and flowers. You think that people will stand there every single day uh, uh, under the sun mm -hmm. because they're not making money to provide for their families? Of course if it was are. me, I'll be there every day, but if I make money to provide food for my family. Of course they are, 100%. 100%. So that's what I get that people, I just think people is just comfortable right now. They're lazy. They don't want to make a change. They don't want to take the risk and in, 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 in trying something new. And, you know, that, that, that's all about. Life is about taking the chances. When they come at you, you got to take them. Let's talk about the model of PNC because, you know, uh, because a lot of people drive by them. They drive by the Allstates. They drive by the State Farms. They drive by the, you know, the, the, the company you were with. They, they, see, they see that retail store. Uh, what, what is it like for a typical PNC agent? I mean, what type of volume would a well-producing PNC agent produce on a monthly basis to make, let's say, uh, 10000 a month? They want to make 100000 120000 a year. What do I need to sell as a PNC agent to make that type of money? Okay, so there's two types. One is if you are an Allstate State Farm or any of those farmers, uh, you need to sell about 20 to 25 policies to make that kind of money probably. In my world... Wait, a week? Did you say a, a week month. or a month? a month? A month, okay. Right? But in my world and the, and, the, and the franchise that I was in, to be able to make money and be comfortable, I need to sell 150 policies in a month. So the difference is more than 100%. Wow. It's wow. standard, not standard, you know? By the way, is, is Florida with you? If she has an opportunity to pop She's in, right here. I love to, I love to see if she can join our conversation because I know that's your wife, that's your business partner, and uh, you guys are such class. You guys are such, uh, you're such a class. And when I saw you guys speak on stage in Phoenix in, uh, in January, I mean, I'm looking like, wow, that's the future of the company right there, man. I'm like, you guys are such classy, such a classy couple. Um, uh, by the way, she's coming on board right now. Yeah, she's coming right yeah. now. Um, so, so, hey, Mika, hi, Flora. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? How are you, man? So, so, Flora, what's it like working with your husband? Come on, tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do that right now. <laughs> it's like, it's, notice I have an empty bottle of liquor right here. <laughs> Mine is full. Mine is full. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be empty. <laughs> We're trying to enjoy the quarantine. We're, we're keeping ourselves busy, as busy as we can. So I think that's, uh, that's, that's exciting right now. Um, people are right now um, not working. People are, you know, they're, they're like, they're talking about what are we going to do? And we are like, we are busier right now. We're busier. And the, ins and the life insurance side of things. Yes. In the life, life insurance, insurance side. Yeah. Yes, the work wise, you know. Yeah, besides the kids and stuff like that, you know, of course. But uh, work wise, we're very busy. We're receiving calls from a lot of people. We're doing a lot of interviews, Zooms. I mean, it's, it, 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 it has challenged us to learn different skills, definitely. Uh, but we're, we're very busy. So this is for sure a, a great industry because I would have not be able to work with my husband if we are not busy, constantly busy. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, Matt, that we're talking about PNC, there was a big name here in LA that probably right now we're working that they call us about three days ago. Actually, yeah. Monday, they call me and they say, we need to partner up because we need to offer life insurance like tomorrow in our offices mm. because we have 90 plus offices nationwide and we need to join php wow. because you guys are the ones that are coming up the most it's interesting so you say that so let me back up real quick why did you guys decide because it was one pnc office why did you guys decide to go build eight i mean that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty bold why one to you got two crazy immigrants here that uh, we we always make our dreams bigger than our goals. Okay, gotcha. You know, so you we just, always got to dream big. You're just, just thinking, thinking bigger. Uh, our families used to ask us, you guys already have four offices. Why do you guys want more? Yeah, you guys are crazy. You guys are, you crazy. Guys are crazy. And I'm going to say in far families. I'm saying my parents, you know, like very close family to us, you know, saying you guys are insane. 
And and my answer, at least the answer that I gave my mom was like, Mom, God gave me an opportunity to do a lot. It would be really bad if I don't do it. That yeah. would be really bad. That would make me crazy. So yeah. Christian and I, I think that's what we connected besides uh, you know, Christian being very handsome, <laughs> we, we, got, we, got uh, <laughs> we got connected because we had the same vision. We wanted to grow. We didn't, we didn't want to grow money, but we wanted to grow in success. So that's something that I got really attracted about PHP because PHP gives you that opportunity. You can really grow. You can really, it's not like you don't get stuck. Yep. You know, yeah, there is an opportunity to be a giant. It depends, you know, we're capitalists. So if you work hard, you can go, you know, up really high, you know, be at the level of Matt Zapala pretty soon. Oh, you're going to be better. You're going to be better faster. <laughs> Let me ask this. On the, uh, on the property casualty side of things, okay, let's say you want to expand to another office. What type of investment does it take for somebody to say, <laughs> right? What type of financial does somebody say, I want to go to two offices, three offices, four offices. So do they have to spend more before they receive? What, what's, what's the process there? Oh yeah, just to just to walk into an office, you're looking about just to set it up and walk in there, you're looking about forty five thousand dollars. Not only counting like you need to hire two agents, so you need to have at least a good amount of money saved up to at least run the first year without making any money. Right. Another forty five on top of that, so you need about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars to be able to open up a PNC office. Wow. Yeah, and and for us when we open those offices. We had money saved and we got loans. You know, we were like swamped in debt for yeah. years in yeah. order for us to succeed. And when we, we learned about this new company, PHP, life insurance, and we saw the investment, we we're like, oh my gosh, this is so, this is money. This is no. easy. And the crazy thing, Matt, that in PNC, uh, they were charging us for the system, a right. monthly fee, yes. monthly fee for, 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 for in-house system. Then they were charging us for marketing. Wow. For store, for store. So that was, that was huge and they were not doing any marketing. And uh, also we, we had another fees that we used to pay every single month. Yeah. So just, it's stacking up just, all the time. Just a PNC, uh, it's, it's more complex. And then you have to have different kind of permits and a trust account with chunks of money. You know, it's very different and very, very complicated. So I needed to do, let's say, 40 policies, which what I do in life insurance with two, same money, same money. We already make the numbers. So let's talk about that right quick. You just said you need to sell 40 property and casualty insurance policies, car, homeowners, right? Just car, just auto. Just okay, auto. Just auto. okay, cool. Four car insurance policies. 40. 40, shit, 40, mm -hmm. to equal two, the, the income you earn from two life insurance policies. Yes. Commission. Wow. Wow. Okay. And, so and let, let's just let's just put it as simple as that. You know the life insurance commission, but if, uh, auto insurance companies they pay you ten percent. If you get a contract of fifteen percent, you are a killer. You know. <laughs> so that's that's a commission. To be honest, we were happy with fifteen percent. We're very happy with fifteen percent. And yeah. you know, life policies you can get one hundred and fifty percent. Yeah. So it's huge, you know, yeah. it's huge. And, and as a disclaimer that everybody that's watching this, life insurance commissions are paid from the insurance companies. It's not out of the client's uh, account. No. So um, uh, one thing I want to add to here, here as well is, um, at, you know, for example, in a property and casualty, everybody knows the, the jingles of, you know, all states and state farm and nationwide, you know, you know, nationwide is on your side. <laughs> you know, we are farmers, right? So... I would, I would imagine as hard as what for you to write 40 policies, you're wondering in the back of your mind, what ad are they seeing now? So, so therefore they don't change your mind, you know, a week later, a month later, you know, 10 minutes later. And so, um, Flo, Flo, let me ask you this question. Uh, when it comes to the expansion of growing your, re when it comes to the expansion of growing your revenue, right? Is it, did you find yourself in a property and casualty side that your expenses were going higher and higher as your money was going higher and higher? Uh, did you find that, uh, um, that parallel? So expenses got higher and higher, service work got higher and higher, and then you're, then you're also your, sure, your income went higher, but it's like it's, it's work is, has increased. Was that your experience? Because I hear that a lot. Yes, especially because as we grew, we needed more agents, and I have to pay my agents. 
Yeah. And so payrolls, payrolls were super high towards the end. We were paying, you know, over a hundred thousand dollars every month just on payroll. And besides our other expenses, rents and so on. So yes, our commissions were good because you know, like we we, we were doing the business for eleven years, but okay. our expenses were ridiculous every single month, every single month. Christian, there's a lot of men right now, uh, men of the house. They're out of work. They can't. Uh, they can't pay the bills because their job laid them off. I mean, I was just talking to guys in the fitness industry yesterday, guys in the restaurant industry, and they they got they finally got the packing orders because they're they, even though they could not go for, to work for the last couple of weeks, the the, the 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 restaurants and the gyms paid them, but they said for another thirty days we can't pay you guys if we got nothing coming in, so they laid them all off. What what would compel? What would compel you talking to other men out there? So you know what? If you never thought, if you're a PNC agent right now, and you never thought about coming to the insurance side of things, or you're a server like myself, I'm a waiter, uh, a, a military guy like myself. What would you tell other men out there? Why should they consider the insurance industry? Because it's a recession-proof industry. Uh, everybody needs life insurance. Every human being out there needs life insurance. Uh, I started in this business because I lost my mom when I was 15 years old. Came to this country, lost my mom, 15 years old. I had to ask for money for friends and family to bury my mom. Mm -hmm. Not too long ago, three months ago, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, four months ago, I lost my brother, 15 years old. You never prepare. Never prepare. He was playing soccer, collapsed. 12 hours later, he's gone. So one thing is for certain in this life is that we're going to all die. So it's, all, it's up to us as men and as a family guy to make sure our family are secure um, uh, for, you know, if you're gone the next day. Yeah. And also, in this industry, you can provide for a good life for your family as well. We've been in this industry of, of insurance for 11 years already. I was in the transportation business. Uh, I was doing some other stuff, you know, out of body and stuff like that. Those, those industries are shutting down right now. Yeah. And this one is still on. Yeah. This one is still alive. So this is the right industry to be in. And I'm happy and grateful that I found the opportunity in PSP as well because in 11 years that I was in another in the other company, I never received as much support as I received here in the last seven months. It's just crazy. The, the support that you guys have, the mentorship, you know, I, uh, we just met, what, three, four months ago in person. And, you know, here we are talking to you and it's open conversation with you guys. And, you know, when you come into a new company, you're like, oh, well, the guys on the top are just having fun on the top. And you guys are not having fun on the top. You guys are shoveling down the ones that are coming in and, and picking them up and, you know, open these opportunities to, to tell our experience, to tell uh, our experiences and, and everything in life and in, in a professional way as well. Love it. By the way, uh, God bless your family, bro. I know that... Uh the strength that you both share through in the last 120 days, remarkable, remarkable. Uh, that's how I know confirmed you guys are bound to do something big. Like I was talking about earlier, there's a God given ordained anointing that you guys are about to explode and, and just show to the world. Uh, Flor, talk, talk to the Latino community out there. Cause not, lots of times people think that, um, you know, me vida loca, you know, uh, you know, I don't believe in insurance, you know, talk, talk to about insurance. Like, with Christian talk, life insurance, retirement planning. Talk about that to the Latino community because there's a big reason why Oscar De La Hoya invested $10 million into the infrastructure of our company. How, how is it like for you right now, boots on the ground, agency building? What's it like for Talk to the Latino community out there in, uh, about this very important financial topic. Right. So should I say it in Spanish? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just playing. So this is something that it's for sure of Hispanics. Hispanics, we like to have kids, right? <laughs> we, have no. four, we have four in the house. Well, Filipinos too, Filipinos too, right? <laughs> um, and a lot of people say, no, Hispanics don't like to talk about that. No, if, if, Hispanics, they don't, they don't want to talk about life insurance. Let me tell you something. Every single family that Christine and I, we sat in front of, um, every family that opens their homes to us, that everybody cares for their kids and the future of their family. There is no Hispanic that say, oh, I don't care what's going to happen with my kids if I'm not here tomorrow. Especially the fact that we offer living benefit policies because Hispanics, 
well, what kind of jobs do we, do we perform? We are in the fields, we're cleaning houses, landscaping, construction. Those are jobs that are daily and hazard, you know, daily at risk that something might happen and you might not come home or you might come home, home hurt or, you know, you, you can be sick, you know, like people that clean houses exposed to those chemicals and high exposure of cancer. So knowing that we can have a policy that can protect you if you get sick of injured and your family will still be okay. Because if you're a hardworking person man, or hardworking man, and you have in your house your wife with five kids, you'll know that your kids are going to be fine with a policy that sometimes it's just $20, $30, something, you know, your kids are going to be okay. That's number one. Number two, people say, oh, I don't want to leave this to the Sancho. I don't want to leave a policy to the Sancho. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Sancho? Sancho, taco sauce? Is it, uh, is it <laughs> my neighbor? My neighbor. <laughs> We, we sell policies to Sanchez too, obviously. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Funny thing is, like, let me tell you something. If what something happens to you and your wife is not secure and your kids are not secure, your wife needs to find a Sancho as soon as possible. Someone that can replace your income. But if your wife, you leave your wife a nice insurance policy, she's set. I'm yeah. telling you, as a woman, you know, I'm happy with my husband. One day my husband is not here. I'm going to be financially stable. We have a nice policy, and I don't need any other guy to replace my husband's income because I'm going to be set, you yeah. know? So let's think about those things. Definitely Hispanics, number one is our family. When we know that we're going to protect our family, you know, Hispanics, they need to understand this. Now, this is just a, the problem that we have is just information. We do not know. We have no idea about life insurance. We don't even know how it works. We don't know about living benefits. So this information needs to be out there. I think any Hispanic person there that understands this, now you have the responsibility to talk about somebody else about this. This information needs to be spread higher and stronger than the coronavirus, okay? Uh, this that, that, needs, that needs to be the pandemic. That needs yeah, to be the pandemic. Be the pandemic. The information. Because that's the only problem that we have. Not because, it's, I don't think it's, it's not our fault because it doesn't come in our culture. We don't talk about money. It's, it's disrespectful if we talk about money. Gotcha. And, and we need to break those barriers. We need to break those, those uh, curses. And we need to help each other as a community and get this information out there and protect our families and our future generations. Very important. So, Christian, as the way Flora is talking, did you ever find purpose like that? Because it seems like, Life insurance to you guys is more just to sell life insurance. It's a purpose. You know, the, the no Sancho policy, that's a pretty good pair, no, no, purpose. <laughs> but are you finding yourself a new purpose and, and drive and desire to, for, to, to help people on a deeper level? Uh, Matt, I'll share with you. And, and um, when I started this business, it took me back to those days when I lost my mom. So my in my head, when I left the restaurant after talking to to Gaitan and Marlene, in my head was, I want to make sure that I give other kids the opportunity that I didn't have, mm -hmm. is make sure their families are protected. So we have something that is mission or recommission. I, nice. I leave their house, but I leave happy because I know they're going to be secure. Uh, our kids, you know, Latinos, oh, how am I going to insure my kid? He's, he, I'm probably going to die first than him, and why is he going to need life insurance? Look what happened with my brother, 15 years old. My, my, my dad had a policy on him, but thank, 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 thanks to God and, and my, my wife, you know, we worked hard. I was in the position to tell my dad not to worry about anything. But I, I prepared myself because that was always on my head. Every time I woke up, it was like, okay, I want to I wanna provide not only for my family, but I want to be able to help my dad as well. I retired him two years ago. I'm 34 years old. I retired my, my dad two years ago. I help him here and there, you know, whenever he needs to, but he doesn't have to worry about anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Profound. Now, uh, uh, Flora, let, let's talk about the, 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 the decision coming over here, installing now a life insurance uh, business. Right. Uh, what can you tell a property and casualty agent that's out there that's running and gun, running and gun? And what can you tell them about the next steps? If they say, you know what, this makes sense. Kind of like what uh, Christian was talking about, the bigger agent, uh, LA agents that we need to do this now. 
what would you advise? I'm a property and casualty agent watching this video right now, live, or I'm watching it in a replay. What would be my next steps in getting this installed in my current business to potentially even replace my property and casualty business if that's something I want to do? Right. I mean, you're already paying rent. You already work your butt off trying to serve your customers. You already do a lot of customer service. If you are a broker, uh, which is different than an estate farm agency, but if you're a broker, you probably already gave therapy to your customers, you know, because we <laughs> turn into be psychologists too. And any, any, uh, any, uh, PNC broker will tell me, yes, it's true. We already gave therapy. I have clients crying in front of me. Why don't you care more for your customers and offer them to protect also their families, their life, and their money? You know, you're already insure their homes. You're already insure their autos. You're already insure their motorcycles and physical things. Also give this opportunity to protect their families and their homes. Investment is like nothing. You, you make this up in a quarter of a policy sometimes, you know, the investment to go and join our company. The revenue, it's going to probably match over triple, quadruple what you're already making in your first months of doing business with us, definitely. And we're not saying that you have to sell your office to do this. You know, you continue running your business. But right now, um, we, mean, you, we did a PNC for 11 years. So we know a lot of friends. We know that our PNC friends are struggling big time. They are very, right now. very hurt right, right now. now, right now. They're very, very hurt. So uh, maybe rent can help, can, can be wait for a month or no. I don't know, it depends on landlords, but a lot of bills are not gonna wait. You, you, you know, your, your staff is not gonna wait. You need to replace the income as soon as possible. And this is something really easy and really quick to do, really fun. And we're protecting your clients. Your clients are gonna be happy with you and they're gonna stay with you for a long time because you're caring for more just than the auto that will probably have to sell to pay their bills. You're protecting their family and their money. Yeah. So yeah. go and join as soon as possible. Don't waste, don't waste your time because you have no idea, Christian already mentioned, right now there is a large company. They have over 100 locations. They're begging us to do business with us as soon as possible because they're hurt right now. PNC offices are hurting. Uh, Chris, Christian, this is gonna be a very shameless plug why should somebody of all the different insurance marketing organizations and platforms they could partner up with, why should they partner up with you? Why should they partner up with PHP? One is PHP already has a platform, already has a name for himself. And you have Patrick by David already interviewing precedents, interviewing everybody out there, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jerry Springer, Kobe Bryant, Oscar De La Hoya is an investor. Uh, what other names can you name that are, are going to catch somebody's attention? Who do you want? You want to see the interview for Mark Cuban? You want to see the interview to, you know, even uh, to, to mention some names there, uh, Magic Johnson as well. So, I mean, PHP is already on the market. It's very easy to support. The support is there. The application is really free because the money you invest uh, to come uh, a PHP uh, member is nothing compared to other companies. You need to pay $10,000, $25,000 to just have their name. Yep. And that name doesn't give you anything because you still got to invest money to go open up an office and spend another forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to do that. Yeah, and PHP is one hundred ninety nine bucks, so you can call your company. One ninety nine, call it <laughs> one ninety nine, and call whatever you're calling. What, 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 what a bargain, man! Yeah. Well, before we wrap up, also, also the compensation that we receive from PHP. Oh, yeah. I mean, not the companies give you that. For me, what attracted me the most, besides the compensation made total sense, it's easier to go up high if you work hard. Um, it attracted me also that we represent, because I was in the insurance industry, so I knew insurance companies. When I saw the list of the companies that we can offer to our customers, I was just blown away. I'm like, are you serious? AIG, National Life Group, but really? Those customers, those, those clients from my customers, those companies from my customers, I was just blown away. Because those companies are the one of the biggest companies in, in the world, I would say, you know? I'm not just, not, Amer not just America, but in the world, huge insurance companies, we're just offering the best product to our clients. And I know PHP, they uh, they care for Hispanics 
and middle America and other companies they don't. So I was just in love with PHP when they told me that we had products for people that had no social security number with IT number, yeah. I was just falling in love. And also the opportunity even to work with those, you know, barriers. I'm like, wow, really? Especially here in California, you can get a life insurance uh, license to be a licensed agent in California with an IT number. That's for people that has no social security number. There's no other company that offers that period. We're just the best, just the best money, systems, products, opportunity. We're just offering the best. And I wanted to be part of something that offers the best because Christian and I were just the best. <laughs> we have options. PHP has options. That's, options. that's what we love, options. And that's what we, we love in our culture is to have options to, so we can pick where to go. You know, I, I've, been, I've been doing this for a while. I've been in the industry for 21 years. I spent my first 12 years as just an independent agent, me, myself, and I. And then the last eight years now, agency building. And I, 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 I get inboxes all the time. How are you getting so many multicultural people in your workshops? How, how are you getting so many uh, 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 women of different ethnic backgrounds in your live, uh, at your live events? You, know, you, got, you guys just helped open up a, a new office, a grand opening there in Orange, uh, uh, ca uh, California, there at Guide Town too as well. And I mean, you guys are just growing, expanding, and everybody's contracting. You know, one, one of the things that uh, I was writing down here, uh, la last year, we did 5,000 applications in, in March of 2019. Last month, we did 6,400 applications in 2020 during the pandemic. I mean, when everybody's contracting, we had a, we, we blew by not only a competition, but we excelled to help and serve people during, a, during the pandemic when, when people really need help the most. As we wrap up, guys, you know, what are your thoughts? You know, sell me on entrepreneurship. Why should people work for themselves? Because you know the thought too in the Hispanic community, multicultural community, why are you working for commission? Why, you know, I just want a salary, you know, punch in, punch out. Why should I consider sales? Why should, should, why should I consider commission? What are, your, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that as we wrap things up? My, my thought on that, Matt, is uh, you have freedom. You have freedom and you cannot buy that anywhere. You're going to get that. Uh, I made the decision at a very young age, at 19 years old, that I wanted to be a business owner, entrepreneur, to have and, and be able to own my time. Mm -hmm. So once you make that decision, it's really easy. You just got to work, be hungry, and have big dreams. One of my wife. Um, I had a, a friend that she's uh, from high school and, and she's very sharp, just like me. And I always told her, you know what? You will be amazing in this industry. You will be really good. And she would say, yes, but my husband and I were really busy in the company that we're working with. And I'm like, okay, but once you're ready, you have to let me know because this is going to be an amazing opportunity for you. You will be really good. You have, you know, you're like me, you know, you can conquer the world. And right now she just called me and said, Flora, I can't believe the company closed. My husband and I, we work in the same company and now we don't have a job. And, and, and now we, now there, she's ready to start something, but why wait for that? You know, why wait for that? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to rely and, and I, we, we started the business, like I said, 11 years ago. So I started when I was, you know, like five now, just wait. But I started the business, business when I was 20, uh, 26, 25 years old. And I knew that I didn't want to rely on people firing me or laying me off when the business was, you know, higher down for them. I didn't want to make anybody rich. I wanted to provide for my family and make my family, my kids rich, you know, my household rich. So when you work for somebody else, you're just providing for them. You're not providing for you. And situations like what we're going through right now, you know, you're going to be the, the first one to be off. Yep. You're gone. You have no job. You have no, no, you don't have a plan B. So I think entrepreneurship, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yes, the, 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 it's fun that you have to take the risk. This adrenaline of, of starting a new venture is just amazing. I think entrepreneurs, we just enjoy that every single day. And, and that, but also that we are working for the wealth of our household, for our kids. With our time, with our effort, with our resources, and giving the 100% max for us, not for others. 
you know, and the reason is why right now this, this time of crisis, a lot of people are concerned about this $1,000 that Trump is going to give you. And, and that's not the problem that we have right now. We're not even thinking about that. Yeah. I don't care for that check. We're still showing up to the office. We know we're going to provide for our family. Um, just before we, we are gone, we, we're done with you, Matt, uh, if people need uh, videos in Spanish, we are doing videos in Spanish uh, and YouTube, uh, you, a new YouTube channel if people want to use us. Uh, what, what's the name? It's PHP Power Team. Love it. And then we are interviewing soccer players, uh, people from the TV here in LA. In so if you need Espanol. And Espanol. So <laughs> if you need, if you guys need it or anybody that I was watching need those videos, Hey, go ahead and, and, and watch him and PHP, our team, and YouTube. Uh, we also going to come out in a, in a new uh, TV show that we're, we're filming yesterday here, a new TV show in Spanish, because we just recruited uh, the Latino Jerry Springer here in L.A. As far as PHP. As far as PHP. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. So proud of you. Of course. Of course, you'd be attracting quality top-notch people i mean uh -huh. look at you guys and what you guys not which, how you guys look but what you guys do right we're, this is this is we're gonna overcome this patrick as a community as a nation it's tough times definitely so uh, we, we we get hurt when we see those you know nasty videos and things are happening right now with the coronavirus it hurt us you know so but we know as a nation we're gonna overcome this and we're gonna you know lift our families and our community stronger than before but i think if anybody wants to do a change the time is now the time is, the now, time now. is now especially for those people watching in, in 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 your area i mean matt you're a great person you and your wife we have so much respect oh, for yeah. you guys i mean you guys uh we are, are the couple that we look up to you know aside from jose and marlene is like you know the couple that we follow all the time and we want to be around you guys because there's a lot of value every time we're sitting down with you guys even last night when you were doing the live video as well i wanted to jump in and oh you're on instagram, instagram. I, I, I put the request but <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't picked but it's okay because <laughs> i was drinking my whiskey at home too i'm like i'm gonna i was drinking with matt but but no, I mean, it's it just, you know, first level with you guys. I, I mean, so much respect I have for you and your wife. And we want to learn from you guys everything that you guys know so we can grow in this company, not only the company, but to do great things for a lot of families in the United States because nobody's looking for our people, our Latinos, our middle class, or your, you know, uh, type of person that you guys have over there. It's, you know, we are looking for everybody that yeah. we want to give them the opportunity. We want to give them the information and we just want to make them part of our family because that's what PHP is. It's a big family that is growing, growing, growing every day. And that's what, exactly what we want. We want to create that family environment because that's how I feel with you guys since the day it started and what I went through with my brother, you guys were there. Amen, bro. And we'll continue to be there. Folks, if you haven't followed them already, this is Christian and Flor Oriana out of Orange County, <laughs> California, former property and casualty agency owners of eight offices, sold that, and now fully inside the life insurance and annuity side of the world. So leading their way also your PHP agency. So um, I'm excited here. For, for those who've been watching this on live stream, you're following the Facebook Money Smart Guy business page. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you're watching the Seven Figure Squad. Make sure you click subscribe. Hit notifications be alerted next time we upload our next episode. Listen, it's not what you know. It's how you think. We know a lot of people that know a lot of stuff out there, but they broke right now and they're not making any money. But how you think is everything. If that's you, continue to follow the channel. Continue to follow content. Make sure you follow Christian and Florida and to follow their journey. And the, who knows? You might be mentored by them. Check that out. <laughs> that being said, guys. Flora, so gracious with your time. I appreciate uh, you yeah. investing a little time into our community here doing this Facebook Live because this video is going to live on the web, the web forever. forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Right. You guys right, Matt. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Matt. 100%. For those of you out there, thanks for tuning in. I'm your money smart guy on behalf of Flora and Christian Oriana and the Seven Figure YouTube channel. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, be money smart today. God bless you guys. Stay healthy, stay safe. Stay strong. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.